Morning 47. Your target is Blair Reddington, controversial big game hunter and heir to one of the oldest and most influential families in the US. Reddington is the leader of an elitist group, the Lodge, which exclusively hunts endangered animals. The Lodge is known to resort to bribery and threats to protect its members from political scrutiny. One more thing, our client informs us that the target always carries around a small black book which contains names and details on Lodge members and government officials associated with them. Our client has unsuccessfully tried to put an end to the Lodge's blood sport for years. This book could be exactly what they need to achieve that goal. Retrieve the book and help put an end to their heinous actions. Time to make the hunter the hunted, 47. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Columbia 47. Your target is currently searching the jungle for the legendary and extinction-threatened white anaconda, known by the Aztecs as the Cloud Serpent. Locate Reddington, eliminate him, and recover his little black book. Good luck. And how may I help you today? What? And how may I help you today, senor? Por favor, don't use the back door, sir. It's for employees only. Gracias. I know my last idea didn't pan out, but this beauty will. It's slower than a taxi, much more uncomfortable, and not as safe. Yet, it is cheaper than a taxi, and tourists will pay a lot more to ride one. It's incredible! <gasps> Carrying rifles. They have probably just seen your dead car. It was being cleared in some jungle. No, they had American accents. Something's going on. I know. Intel tells us that he's searching for the cloud serpent in the jungle just outside the village. is Blair Reddington. 
the cold-hearted poacher that our client wants stopped. Be careful, 47. He's used to hunting deadly animals. That is Blair Reddington, the cold-hearted poacher that our client once stopped. Be careful, 47. He's used to hunting deadly animals. Look! Look at this! The traps are empty. Where is the shaman? We need that blessing, and we need those thugs to stop walking... Target has been eliminated. Who would have thought that you would be one to preserve endangered life, 47? Well done. Looking. Out of the I don't know. I think it's kind of nice. I've seen worse. Guess it comes with the territory, but you're it, man. I think Blair's lost it. What's with all the extra armed forces? What? Okay. I think Blair's lost it. What's with all the extra armed forces? There's no way we're gonna catch that snake with everyone trampling around like this. I think it was part of the deal to let us hunt here. Hmm. Apparently some family runs the town. Oh, like when we were in Indonesia? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But they're goddamn amateurs. Huh? Goddamn amateur. 
death man. Hey, don't mind me. All objectives complete. The money is being transferred now, 47. Now find an exit. You need to stop whatever you're doing, gringo. Hey, I'm not going to tell you again. Understand? Hey. Bullseye! I got him! Good afternoon, 47. Your target is notorious magician and hypnotist, Basil Carnaby. In the 1960s, Carnaby attracted the rebellious youth of London's upper class to his side with his own brand of pseudo-mysticism. He would then hypnotize them and order them to rob their wealthy families on his behalf. He stole millions entirely by proxy. By the time the police finally caught on, Carnaby had absconded to Nepal with a group of spiritualist pilgrims and subsequently disappeared. However, one of his old victims recently recognized a well-aged Carnaby doing a mentalist act for the locals on the streets of Mumbai. Having obtained a life of comfortable obscurity, it seems he just can't keep his hands out of other people's pockets. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. 
Your target, along with a conspicuous coterie of paid guards, has taken up residence in a nearby apartment complex. It won't be easy to get close, but then again, a natural showman like Carnaby is unlikely to stay cooped up forever. That is Basil Carnaby, and it seems he's made himself quite at home here. Get it! My cop! Oh! You gotta help me now! This is really bad! Welcome to Mumbai, 40. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. You don't belong here. Get lost. I'll hang your head atop my mantle. Where the hell is he, Jutia? Anyone see him? The fuck? Okay. Ah. Need a 
Welcome to Mumbai. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh God, help! Please help me! Yes, sir. As I said, I'm calling for. Okay? Hey, idiot! Your target is Ajit A.J. Krish. He's the current head of Atlantide, a company producing demineralized salt water that promises a suspiciously long list of medical benefits. If the brand doesn't ring any bells, it's because Atlantide is only sold out of the homes of independent distributors. They pay Krish an initial signing fee, and in return are able to purchase Atlantide for a lower price, which they can then turn around and sell at a profit. That is, if they can sell it. But bottled water is not Krish's most profitable product. He is far more interested in getting people to buy into his turnkey business opportunity, and better still, convince their friends to do the same. He preys on the desperate. Whether they can afford it or not, Krish will tell them that future fortune is worth even the most painful investments. The target is currently in Miami, in the hopes of recruiting a celebrity driver to be the new face of Atlantide. Our clients would prefer he never recruit anyone again. Best of luck.
Welcome to Miami 47. Your target, Ajit Krish, is currently hosting an Atlantide event in the VIP area of the annual Global Innovation Race. Krish likes to portray himself as a man of the people, so he will most likely be by the company stand trying to persuade the unfortunate guests of the opportunity to represent Atlantide. We know that he has brought two trucks filled with the product to sell instantly to whoever signs the dotted line. In other words, it's going to be tricky to catch him alone. Good luck. Hello, welcome. Hi there. I hope you enjoy welcome the show. and have fun. Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. And a warm welcome to you. The fact is the Kronstadt oh, is very well, likely with holding the information on what actually fine. happened in Tongan Valley. And visit. I think the people have a right to know. My editor got me the case of Story 2 a few months ago. Did you trace it before? But it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret demo upstairs in the expo building, but it's off limits, apparently. Yeah, Robert Knox owns the whole thing. He straight up just bought it. Downstairs is okay, upstairs, not so much. Any idea what he's doing? He's demoing the next big thing coming out of Kronstadt, but only to big money people. No chance. Chance to get in a friend. Well, that's a shame. It would have been nice to be able to break a story like that on my first run. I really Bring like on, it. pal. Hey, we're good. Yeah, this calmness is never gonna work. Oh, hey, you! This area's off limits! Okay! That sounds like one of those entirely unfounded rumors that gets spread around down at the local bar after work. A palace isn't in a state to be field tested on any scale. Well, Lyle from outsourcing told me there'd been a request to reach out to Jim Pope. The reply that's insane. money in the 
bank. I suspect Knox wants to meet the pie. It's Poe off swimming. Rebels to help improve palace. Knox is the palace. last night, and I quote, the replacement of the human workforce with a robotic one is not only practical... Okay, that's it. The Palace Enhanced Servitor Series will... moment in modern conflict. Imagine infiltrating. Jeez. Need assistance. We need Time to more. Work.
target has been eliminated. Though our client will never get their money back, you have given them peace of mind. Well done. 47, I'm currently hacking into Krisha's phone records, and he seems to have made several calls to Vermont. Neither he or Atlantide are located anywhere near there. I will get back to you as soon as I know more. I think there is more to this than meets the eye. Wait, 47. I've been examining Krisha's phone records, and there are quite a few long calls here between him and someone named Vols. Ah, I see. It seems your last contract may not have been as settled as we thought. Evidently, Krish was the front man for Atlantide, and the one responsible for its predatory expansion practices. The man behind the product and the pitch, however, is Galen Vols. Vols stays out of the spotlight, but quietly pushes Atlantide's absurd medical claims on every front, from dry skin to pancreatic cancer. Apparently, Vols recently moved out to the suburbs to curb the harassment he's been receiving from disgruntled customers and former sales associates. He's also taking advantage of his anonymity to operate an exclusive private practice out of his home, despite having no medical background whatsoever. Perhaps it's time to make a house call, 47. Welcome to Whittleton Creek, 47. Your target is Galen Voles, who's just moved into the neighborhood in hopes of establishing an inconspicuous home clinic to peddle Atlantide. Unfortunately for him, not to mention you, he's already received some threatening mail to this new address. The man's on edge, and he's reached out to the local authorities to help him secure his property. You'll need to get past them if you want to take care of Voles. Good luck. <laughs> that doesn't sound like him. If he did, I'm sure there was a very good reason for it. Anyway, Charles is running for office this year, and I know he would be extremely appreciative of any local Whittleton Creek, he went down. Look at this place. It's like he doesn't trust us to keep the neighborhood safe. Guy's got sensors on everything but the darn mailbox. He should definitely have one there. People steal mail around here all the time. It's a damn shame, too. I just can't imagine trusting some alarm system more than you trust a flesh and blood officer of the law. Well, louder, isn't it, sir? It's not louder than the situation, sir. Anyone can see it. You don't need to get into the basement and bingo. The whole place is there. Getting off early for that recital after all, huh? 
seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again? Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. Spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him and I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with me. He shared his opinion on Janice. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly positive. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. Maybe if you don't get along with the elderly, stay away from a career with a personal household. Hey, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden? No, man. Uh, I'm trying to stop. Ah, uh, well. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. What, by throwing his coffin nails over the fence? Seems pointless. Oh, crap. Oh, hey, oh, God, you're hurt. Okay, this is a bad situation here. Hello, security. I need some help. Hey, you need to do something. There's a bad situation. to leave now for your Please. own safety. All right then. All right then. Shit. Ha! 
Target eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Time to make your exit. Where is he? Anyone got a visual? What are you waiting for? Fire at will! Damn it! I don't have visual! Lost Psych 2. Lost Psych 2. Where is he? Well, that's that. Two fewer snake oil salesmen in the world, or exponentially more, if you include their downlines. Well done as usual, 47.